Modern Warfare 3 Beta. A lot has changed since the last video. We level 20 and we gotta talk about some things. I had to get my coffee out for the day, but I gotta get turned on. Gotta use the ACR. You playing Rust, you need your weapon on this thing with some good accuracy for real. Speaking about accuracy though, one thing I've really noticed about this game, and people might say this is a mere skill issue on my behalf. Oh, fuck. But I really think that they made the aim assist weaker to compensate for the crazy movement that the community has to adjust to. I did a lot of tweaking. Oh my goodness. I did a lot of tweaking with my aim settings. Like, bro, what are you doing, son? Why the fuck? Is Look at this dude. But I started going crazy because I was like, bro, I feel like I'm not hitting people like I should be. This is after I played for a good bit. In the initial gameplay, the first beta gameplay, I did really good. That was when the game first came out, 20 minutes after it released. I obviously was experiencing it for the first time as everybody else was. So the competition wasn't that bad. But then about an hour to two hours later after that, I edited the video, got back on. People got used to it and these mother are playing like they're in the cod league i'm telling you these dudes are playing like this shit's all gonna transfer and everything i've heard their arguments for it. they're trying to get clips when we grew up we didn't have all this slide canceling crazy shit we didn't have like all this jump 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 it was just a different time man so it's like the, the game has evolved things are different now see look at that shit jump right into a death hold on we on a street Skip it about and die up. i swear that they've tweaked this aim a little bit So what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> hey, hell no. Hey, 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 hey. Look at this shit. This is my controller settings, okay? I had 15, 15. This is from Modern Warfare 2. I messed around with this and ended up just sticking with it. You know, boom. Dynamic, it's the same thing I had on Modern Warfare 2. I ended up trying all these. Dynamic seemed to be the best. Aim assist type, I did have it on focusing. Put that on blackouts and I put it back on default. Default uh, seemed to be the best at all of them. I did not even know that this was a setting back in Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> You know how much pain my left stick has gone through all this time? I didn't know you could do this. One thing, too, they got to improve, though, is uh, visibility. I really find myself, and a lot of YouTubers have commented on this. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Shooting my teammates so much. Oh, y'all saw me snap on that. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. I'm dead. Like I talked about in the first video, this skill gap that I have about not knowing how to slide cancel and stuff, I'll get better over time. But the bad thing about getting better in these Call of Duties with the skill-based matchmaking, <laughs> the better you get, they'll put you up against better and better players that are obviously 10 times better than you are because they want to give you a challenge and whatnot. You're going to have to jump into Rust, get shit on for like three matches to finally get some easier matches. Then you'll do good for three matches and then it'll be back to the same cycle. Win for three. Suck for three, win for three. These kids are playing like this shit is life dependent. <laughs> Look at that shit. Don't be running like that, bitch. <laughs> the mosquito drone and the little handheld flying C4. That shit is so fun to use. But the C4 joint will usually get you killed if you're fucking around with it too much. Oh, let me out look, 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 look. <laughs> that little C4 should be getting you fucking killed. So like when I play these Call of Duty games and then I'll be down a lot, I get really pissed off. So learning to like not take it as serious will definitely bring some enjoyment to you. I don't think you have any idea. Look at him moving. How fast that bitch moving. Damn. That motherfucker is moving. <laughs> bitch. Fuck him up. Get your bitch ass up. <laughs> Did I shoot? I think I shot the handheld C4 joint. 67? Talk about the clips I've seen online, man. These boys be doing shit like this. Like, bitch, what are you doing? They do all that. Then they kill somebody. Walking around somebody. And they jump out. They jump. See, I don't play claw, so I can't really do that. But the kids that do that have a lot of skill. People that like us that are older, that have played old Call of Duties and aren't really good at the shit like they are, we gotta realize, these kids are like the same age we were when we played the old Call of Duties, and they've grown up with this skill that they have to learn, and if they don't learn it, they're not gonna be able to keep up with the evolving Call of Duties. And that could go for us as well, but, you know, they don't have jobs, they're sitting home, they're playing, obviously they're good at hell at games. Just something you just kinda gotta realize, like, with the evolution of everything. Not bitch too much, obviously you're gonna get pissed off. <laughs> I don't know where my- I feel like it should be pulling more. Maybe I'm just at. See right there, I thought I was- That was an enemy. Being silent in this game is so key. Unless you are a movement god, you've got to be silent. And honestly, with how good these people are with movement, it's been forcing me to play more campishly. I've been playing more like a camper and holding certain spots. It's easier for me to go on streaks that way. That's a little three piece. I'm nervous. I'm running. Come on, man. I'm 
Why did my body do that? <laughs> See, I hit that jump, but my aim weren't good. Damn. <laughs> Patrick's butthole just killed me with the. Oh my goodness. See, he heard my footsteps, god damn it. How about y'all take one of these, man? What the fuck? I think I'm gonna uh find myself more so on these zombies. Mainly because it's been a whole year without zombies. Though I'm seeing so many people hate on the zombies mode. They're pissed about it not being round based. And like I said in the last video, wasn't there a huge leak that said it was gonna be DMZ styled? But the fuck zombies to me looks good and i think one thing we gotta like start doing as a people is to not be so easily swayed by hearing somebody else's opinion i think that happens to a lot of us and to where we'll hear something and it easily sways our opinion from what we truly want to think like we gotta think for ourselves we gotta formulate our own opinions and on do we really like it or do we not or are we only disliking it because everyone else just likes it because i'm gonna stand on my truth bro i'm hyped for it i think it looks cool i think it's refreshing i think it's new <laughs> Have you guys seen the leaks on uh, Twitter or Reddit or anywhere on the internet about the camos coming out? The zombies camos look 10 times better than the fucking multiplayer. If anything, I'm just gonna go for some camos on that zombie because that zombie look fire. How many kills I get? 16 and 24? Like, that's, all, that's not that bad, is it? That's not that bad. You are waiting for